In the news this week, Conservative peers warn of the threat posed to free speech from the government's online safety bill. Two Labour frontbenchers are unable to define the term woman. And the Court of Appeal agrees to hear Heidi Crowther's challenge to the discriminatory law on abortion. Hello. A group of Conservative MPs and peers has warned that the government's online safety bill jeopardises free speech. If passed, the bill would restrict legal but harmful content as determined by the government, Ofcom and Silicon Valley giants. Tory peer Lord Frost is reported to be leading opposition within the party over the issue. Aspects of it present a real risk to freedom of expression in this country. It clearly hasn't been properly thought through in all its aspects and it would be better to pause, have further discussion and get things right. Two Labour frontbenchers were unable to define what a woman is during media interviews this week. As the country marked International Women's Day, the Shadow Minister for Women and Equalities, Annalise Dodds, and Shadow Home Secretary, Yvette Cooper, dodged the question multiple times in radio interviews. Speaking on BBC Radio 4's Woman's Hour, Dodds struggled to define woman, claiming there were different definitions legally around what a woman actually is. A Labour's definition of a woman? Well, I have to say that there are different definitions legally around what a woman actually is. I mean, you look at the definition within the Equality Act, and I think it just says um, uh, someone who is um, adult and female, I think, but then doesn't say how you define either of those things. I mean, obviously, that's then uh, you've got the biological definition, legal definition. No, no, I don't, but I, 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 with respect, I didn't ask <laughs> for that. What, what's, what's the Labour definition? Well, um, I think with respect, Emma, I think it does depend uh, what the context is, surely. I mean, surely that is important here. You know, there are people who have decided to uh, that they have to make that transition. You know, I've spoken with uh, many of them. It's been a very difficult process for many of those people. And, you know, understandably, because they live as a, as a woman, you know, they want to be uh, defined as a woman. And on Times Radio, Cooper said it was pointless to try and explain what a woman is. In response to Dodd's comments, J.K. Rowling tweeted, Apparently, under a Labour government, today will become We Who Must Not Be Named Day, a reference to a character in her Harry Potter series. In Scotland, campaigners for safe single-sex spaces were likened to racial segregationists in an article cited by the Scottish government to support its plans to allow over-16s to choose their own legal gender. Policy analysis group Murray Blackburn Mackenzie called the comparison false and offensive. It is worrying that officials are still relying on these problematic papers to dismiss concerns about the impact of reform on single-sex services and spaces. Paralympic legend Baroness Tanny Gray Thompson has warned the move to legalise assisted suicide in Scotland would make identifying another Dr Harold Shipman incredibly difficult. Dr. Shipman killed 250 patients from the 1970s to the 1990s. Lady Grey Thompson, who has spina bifida and uses a wheelchair, is a long-time opponent of assisted suicide proposals. While on the surface it is wrapped in words such as dignity and talk of people suffering, the call for a right to die can too easily become a duty to die. And finally, the Court of Appeal has agreed to hear a challenge against a law allowing babies with Down syndrome to be aborted up to birth. Campaigners Heidi Crowter and Moya Lee Wilson argue the law is discriminatory. The High Court rejected the case last year, saying it was a matter for Parliament, but the Court of Appeal has permitted it to be heard again. Speaking to the CI before the hearing, Heidi shared why she was not giving up. If God is for me, he could be against me. I've got the universe on my side. I think we're all set up for the fight. Yes, it's hard, but um, we're going to carry on, aren't we? We're going to keep on fighting. Well, that's all for this week. For regular updates and information on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye. Goodbye.